Hey guys, Nigel here. Well, I just wanted to show you what I'm doing. I'm doing a bit of practice here where I'm learning a solo and doing it like a tracking type recording. So I've got the original recording in, uh, I'm, I'm using Logic Pro here, but you could do this with GarageBand, same thing. And then I'm recording myself playing along with it. And it's such a great way to practice this for a couple of reasons. First of all, it's great for your timing and your intonation but also it's a great way to really listen closely to the little nuances in an original solo. So all the little bends and the scoops and the, the phrasing, the breathing, all those little details that really bring something to life. Uh, and then you can listen back to it, go over and over as many times as you want and, uh, and see if you can get it sound exactly the same. So I think this is getting close now, but I hope you find that useful. Now, if I'm using Logic Pro to do this, which is a pretty advanced program, but you could use GarageBand to do the same thing where you get the original track, then you just literally copy it in. This is what I've got here on my recording. You can see the original track is here. And then I've brought in, um, I've just recorded my part over the top of it. So my part's the second part here. If we have a listen back. So it gives you a chance to really go back and audition it and see if you've got it right. Hope you find that useful and I look forward to hearing some of your tracking projects uh, in the Facebook users group or um, email them to me. I'd love to hear how you're getting along. And don't forget you can take all those solos that we've got in the SAC School Members Library and do exactly this sort of practice. It's such a great way to learn. Hope that's helpful to you. I'll see you soon.